Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What are expressions in SSIS? Where and why do we need to use them? So first of all, what are the expressions? Uh, it's kind of really hard for me to put a, a, a definition. What I'm trying to think of, I'm thinking about realities uh, where I had been using expression and they give you examples and say, okay, these are the expressions. So expression is a code that we write uh, that is a combination of a SQL uh, uh, server integration uh, services variables uh, that can be hard code values that can be uh, used in different conditions. So the expression for me is a, a short code that that can evaluate to something and uh, you know that that can set the value of a variable that can uh, uh, be used in the connection managers that can be used in the um, your presence constraints uh, that can be used in different properties so let's go to the ssdt and take a look what, what where where exactly do we use these expression and how do we write that first of all i have this data flow task here and uh, i have this drive column so if I go here and see here, it's a expression. So that can be a simple column itself. So I don't have to really write expression, but that can be a single constant value uh, that, that can be um, expression. Or I can change this one with the test data and that can be expression as well. But uh, most of the time we don't do that. What we do, we build a complex expressions in drive columns, conditional splits, uh, and other transformation wherever we we can write the expressions. But mo most probably, I have uh, seen or experienced we write expressions in drive column uh, transformation a lot. We write a lot of our, uh, expressions in conditional split transformation. And uh, it has uh, SSIS has its own expression expression language, and it evaluate uh, expressions. Uh, it has um, probably own way to evaluate it. Uh, they are not really related to some C sharp language or uh, uh, T SQL. They are totally different uh, language. So in this case, let's say if I want to put first name and plus the second name, and I want to put some space, and uh, let me see if I can bring the second last name. That's how my expressions are. I can uh, go ahead uh, and then uh, if I want to add something on top of that, I can add it. Uh, I can use the functions here, uh, different functions like string functions. I have it. So I can lowercase, uppercase, whatever I want to do it. Uh, I can write those all expressions uh, here. Let's say if I, we want to put the address here. I mean, that's kind of weird uh, <laughs> putting name and address together by just giving you an example. Now, so we can. Uh, now you learn that we can use uh, some constant values, we can literal uh, use the uh, uh, functions, uh, we can use the columns, uh, and we can use uh, the variables. L let me put a, a variable name here. We have system variable, user variables, I can use any of them to gather or separate and uh, build the expressions and they should be evaluated and uh, we can have that as a column value. So now we know that uh, expressions can be written in drive column and conditional uh, split and some other transformations uh, wherever uh, we can write them let's go back uh, and see i was given an example we have month name i created a month name variable there is no month name uh, uh, function available in ssis so we can go ahead and write expressions uh, on uh, uh, this uh, variable and uh, we can do by using uh, pressing F4, this will get, take us to properties and then we go to expressions and then uh, we write expressions. So we can use the month number and then uh, uh, by using month number, we can say, okay, if month uh, number is equal to one, that is January, then uh, if not, uh, then uh, February. So I have uh, that example already. Yeah, I made the video. I have written a, um, a written a blog spot as well and uh, you, you you we can um, you can take a look into that one how to write expressions to get the month name day name and all that but see expression builder is a place that uh, that's where we write the expressions uh, one more thing uh, we can go and uh, let me show you here in the presence constraint present constraint uh, is the link between uh, two tasks or control uh, on your executables or um, between your containers uh, and depending on the condition uh, or uh, the 
uh, I will say the last execution state of uh, this uh, task let's say successful uh, you can go and run this one but uh, here you can also define or write expressions so you want to say okay it is if it is successful the uh, the first task but also the record count variable value is greater than or equal to that's your expression and you want to check that as well so you want to say success with the, the this expression and if that's both of them are true then this will this will be running the same way you can go and write expressions or your connection managers you can go to properties and they have expressions there and then uh, have, um, write the uh, expressions on your uh, connection string or any other uh, properties you can write those expressions so what we understand expression is is a way to write a simple smaller or sometimes it's a very complex uh, uh, code by using uh, hard code values uh, constant values variables uh, and uh, other uh, different functions available in SSIS for us uh, to build something and uh, that uh, condition has to or uh, that uh, expression has to be evaluated and uh, the way we write the expression in SSIS that's not that doesn't resemble with C sharp or V B or uh, T C equal. Um, you know, uh, it it has its own kind of language. So that's what we need to understand uh, uh, here. Um, sorry for all the disturbance. The kids are making some noises on the back, uh, but I hope uh, this helps. Thanks, and see you guys in the next video.